Konnichiwa. Watashi no namai wa galava dikzaimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. So the division into three companies, or the creation of two new companies, was Ron Dennis's decision in the late 1980s. And he realized at that time that to survive in Formula One, you need to be more than a Formula One team. So he created two new companies. One of those is now McLaren Applied Technologies. Originally, it was Tag Electronic Systems. And the other one of those is McLaren Automotive, which originally was McLaren Cars. So McLaren Applied Technology started trading in 1989 and the company was formed when Ron realised how important electronic systems would be in motor racing. So at the beginning it was all about motorsport electronics but very quickly transitioned into road car electronics as well because our sister company, McLaren Automotive, were developing the F1 road car and they needed controllers for that, uh, that vehicle as well. So perhaps just talking a little bit about motorsports first if, if that's okay because that's where it all comes from. And uh, I think, as you know, all of the Formula One cars run with our ECU since 2008. That's when we introduced the TAG 310 into Formula One, and then the TAG 320 in 2013. All NASCARs run with our, um, our controllers since 2012, and all Indy cars do as well, and all Formula E cars have our, our ECU also. Since 2012, when we started the NASCAR contract, we've done nearly three million miles of running with our controllers in motor racing. 3 million miles and there have been no race failures as a result of our, our system so it's a very proud record of reliability. So that's the ground rock of our business and out of that we're taking our technology now into new markets and um, some of the key partnerships that we have in McLaren Group are really important in developing new market opportunities. So our relationship with GSK is um, absolutely at the head of our uh, healthcare initiative and now we're now pushing hard with GSK into healthcare. With KPMG we're looking at the financial sector, so we're working with them in audit systems for um, analytics for, for audit. Um, and uh, with other brands such as Specialized, we're working on very high performance consumer goods. So we're spanning a very large area. Um, and perhaps coming back to GSK, a really good example is uh, using our uh, instrumentation, data systems and analytics to understand people who are doing a drugs trial. So we can instrument patients doing a drugs trial and get much more data much more quickly and to be able to modify, uh, continue or abandon the drugs trial according to the data that's collected. I think the relationship with Specialized is the best one to talk about and we first started that um, in 2011, just before the year before the, uh, the London Olympics. Um, we developed a bicycle that uh, Mark Cavendish rode in, uh, in the Tour de France. He won the sprint jersey that year. That was the beginning of our relationship with Specialized. That was about composite design. It was optimizing the carbon fiber frame of the bicycle. But our work with them has continued in, and gone much, uh, much more broadly into their product range. And we're now working with them on a wide range of different technologies applied to very high performance bicycles. So I think apart from the bicycle itself, we have been involved in um, uh, clothing project, so we developed a very aerodynamic uh, helmet, for example, with Specialized. But I think the more interesting answer to your question is around um, wearable devices, um, where we don't have necessarily products in the market at the moment, but some very interesting partnerships and very interesting ways of gaining information about people's health um, when they're exercising and helping people uh, adopt the best strategies for exercising for their fitness and safety. So obviously these days we have a very important relationship with Honda. Um, it's uh, uh, very important for all of, all, all of McLaren. Um, we do actually supply systems into other racing teams who are based in Japan as well. So in terms of our motorsport business, it's a very important market for us. And uh, our automotive company has some key suppliers uh, for Japanese as well. The most important and the one that I know best is Akebono. Akobono are one of the world's biggest brake system suppliers. They are the partner of our Formula One team and they're also brake suppliers to the P1 supercar, which is the world's most advanced automotive braking system. From a personal perspective, I would love to do that and um, I think we'll look at all opportunities in Japan very favourably. There are some fantastic companies, fantastic brands and fantastic technology, so I very much look forward to engaging increasingly more in the future. So I think we're all very fortunate, aren't we? We feel a great sense of pride as we walk into work every day. It's a great working environment. And the, the thing that's most important is under this roof, we have um, a Formula One team, a road car company, a technology company. And um, people like myself have been fortunate enough to work in all three of those companies over the last 20 years. And the, um, the amount of uh, skills and ability and technology we have across all three companies is actually puts us in a unique position.